Hey, my name's Ken Andrews, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. As this is the pilot episode, I would like to take some time and really kind of explain why I'm doing the channel now and also tell you about the reasons why I love mixing. Super quick background on myself, in case you don't know anything about me. I've been in the music business since 1990 when my band Failure signed to Slash Records. I made three records with that band in the 90s. We broke up in 97. I went on to do a few other music projects as an artist. Failure then reformed in 2014. We're back together now. We're doing all new music. We've just come out with our second album since rebooting. We're a pretty active act again. On our third record, Fantastic Planet, I kind of took the reins as the recording engineer and mixer and kind of launched my career as a producer and mixer. I've mixed over 100 albums now, and that's who I am. Doing this channel has been calling me. I've been thinking about doing something like this for quite a while. I think one of the reasons I'm doing it is mixing in particular is such an isolating work existence. You're basically sitting in a room by yourself working on music for 8, 10, 12 hours a day. I kind of want to maybe nerd out with some people about what I do in here all the time. Do some deep dives on software and music gear and get into it and talk about it rather than just doing it all the time i kind of want to talk about it a little bit i love it how this process of making these videos uses my dual skill sets as it were i went to school for film but got sidetracked into music i've directed a few of the failure music videos i edited one of the tool music videos getting into cameras and lighting and all that stuff is fun for me i like editing video okay well why are you doing this channel now i mean youtube's been around for a very long time it's a lot of different reasons i feel like maybe i've reached a level of of confidence with my craft not that i have stopped learning at all but i have done enough work now in the rock mixing space that i feel like i can share some of my insights and techniques that i've learned over the years the main thing I want to talk about in this first pilot episode is the top reasons why I love mixing. Mixing is a very strange gig, actually. A lot of people don't totally understand what it is. The kind of mixing I'm talking about is multi-track mixing, where you're taking an individual kick drum mic, an individual snare drum mic, 10 to 20 different mics on a drum kit. You've got to mix and blend all those together, and you've got some tracks of bass guitar, some guitar tracks. For the most part, everything's very separated. At some point, the relative volume levels has to be decided upon and presented as a mix. The final blending of all those sounds is what I do. One thing that I noticed when I was writing my first songs is that I loved the mixing aspect of it just as much as I loved the writing of the songs and the guitar parts and the lyrics and all of that. It wasn't a chore for me. The engineering part of it, the recording part of it, and the mixing part of it, that part I enjoyed just as much as the actual music part of it. Even on that initial four track recorder I had, it didn't even have faders, it just had one knob for volume and one knob for panning, no EQ, nothing else. The balancing between the four tracks and the panning the guitar to one side, I just, I was in hog heaven. Yeah, I've always enjoyed the mixing aspect of music from the very beginning. I think the next one is something that a lot of people watching this will identify with, and that is, I love gadgets and gear. I love instruments, I love effects from guitar pedals to hardware, software, I love all of it. There's just something about exploring a new musical tool and 
figuring out how to apply that to your current musical endeavor, whatever that is, if it's writing a song or mixing a song, whatever it is, finding a new tool and applying it has to be one of my favorite things ever. When I'm doing that process, it literally feels like dopamine is being released in my brain. I love the gear learning from all the different artists and producers and recording engineers whose work I've been basically tasked with trying to elevate. In order to do that, you have to do a very deep dive on what they've done. And through that process, especially working on a lot of different albums, you just learn so many different techniques, different recording techniques, different writing techniques, different performance techniques. There's not a notebook that comes with the tracks or anything telling you how they did it, but just by listening, you can figure out a lot of things. However it was done, it really represents it's like a, a time and a space and to sort of get to open the door to that studio when you're mixing it is a really fun discovery process. So I love the learning aspect of mixing. When you sit down to mix a song, you're on the hunt. You're on the hunt for how am I going to elevate or accentuate the emotional content of this song. Bring out the best things about the song that the artist recorded. You're chasing after this kind of elusive thing where when you hit play, it just feels right. It just grabs you and you really feel like you've taken the song to a, a new place. The other thing that I actually like, and this one is kind of weird because some people don't like it, but I actually love the pressure of delivering a great mix. You gotta bring your A-game every time. You cannot phone in this job. This job requires that every time you're super focused, if you deliver something that's kind of lackluster or not as good as the rough, or you kind of just miss the whole point of the artist, you will be fired, summarily. Most of the time, if you're way off, you're either not going to get the gig or you're going to lose the gig. The one thing that I think most mixers would agree on is that you can't just play it safe. You can't just do what you did on the last record. You got to really put yourself into it and take risks. I think the last thing that I would say that's pretty cool about this job is that I love the feeling of accomplishment that you get basically on a daily basis. The expectation is that mixers take one day to mix one song. With rock mixing, you can get a really good feeling of accomplishment like, yes, I mixed this song today, and I like the way it sounds, and so did the band. My name is Ken Andrews. Thanks for watching my debut episode, my pilot show. I'm really excited to have you on this ride with me, and I hope you come along. See you in the next video. Oh. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe.